Okay, this tutorial is going to show you how to do the This Week in Photo segment of the transcript. First, you're going to want to download the template. It's found in Google Drive. The second thing is you're going to want to download all of the photos from whatever week it is. In this case, it's week 9. There's a whole bunch of photos. And you're going to curate them by taking the ones that you like. Once you take those, you're going to download them to your computer, put them into the media folder that you've created, and now you're ready to use the template. Here's the template. If you go here and you go to put photos here, if you go to this part right here and double click, you're going to see that there's a whole bunch of photos that you can put in right here. Uh, insert here, so if you double click on insert photo one here, what we're going to do is we're going to first in Finder drag the picture in. And what happens is it becomes on it go, gets on top of this, so you have to drag it to the bottom over here, so it's under the white frame. From there, you're going to go to Selection Tool, and you're going to resize it, but see how it's stretching it? What we're going to do is we're going to left click and drag, but we're going to hold Shift as we do it, so it's going to resize it proportionally. Once you do that, you can double click on the text right here, the text layer, and put in the, the name and the grade of the person. It's the name of the actual file too, so you can see the exact spelling there. Once you do that, you're going to exit out and then go on to the next one. Insert photo two here, so on and so forth. When you're done with this, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the last render. It's the render 5.0, and you're going to go to composition, add to render queue. This is going to actually export it. So rendering is the export of, of After Effects. The output, we're going to leave uh, best settings lossless and we're going to change the output to, that's going to bring up a screen where we can save it. In this case, I'm going to go to my photos of the week, week nine, and we're going to save it as this week in photos, week 9, hit save, and then hit render. That's going to render the uh, photo slideshow. 